few BBC artists have a greater appeal to music lovers than Albert Sandler and Reginald King. So out of these clouds they come to charm your cares away with soothing melody. Suzette Terry, that brilliant character comedian, is our next subject. So often on the air and on the stage, she now comes straight to the screen for you. What a life. What I'd give for a good sit down. I wish you could see my bunions. Of course, you know, being a waitress would be all right if I could do it on a bicycle. I ought not to have been a worker at all today, by rights. I got up with that feeling that everything was going wrong, and it did all day. Dropped lemonade down a gent's back, added me bills up wrong, had a row with a manager. Do you know I gave sheep's heart to a lifelong vegetarian, fried kidneys to a gent who wanted his kidneys deviled, then I tumbled with a loaded tray and cut my knee on a Welsh rabbit. How's that for a basin full? Do you know I wish I hadn't had that row with a manager, though. He's a nice man, although his wife doesn't understand him. He didn't half walk up and down with me. He said, our motto is service and civilarity, and don't forget the customer is always right. I said, oh, is he? Is he right if he picks his teeth with a fork? He said, yes, he is. Well, I said, what's his tram ticket for? Of course, I did say you people think that us waitresses make a fortune out of tips, but you're all wrong. Course, I would admit that some customers are liberal, but most of them are conservative. But, you know, we do best out of the young fellas when they come in with their girls. You know, when they're at the swanking stage. This is the girl, see, all kind of mure. I just had a perm, she's going to do with a boyfriend. Yes, the silly cat. And the fellow, bless his heart. 
He simply burst in with protective instinct. He leans across the table to me and he says, uh, tea and toast for two, miss, and uh, where can the lady wash her hands? Ah, oh, you know, it's a pretty thought. And then, of course, you know, we do very well out of the middle-aged business, man. I can always spot him. Starch collars, spats, and a touch of blood pressure. Oh, I love the old rascals. I call them the steak and chip brigade, and they're generally good for sixpence. But, you know, sometimes they get a little bit saucy. Now, uh, only today one of them came in, and I knew he was going to sit at one of my tables because he looked at me. When I say looked at me, he gave me one of those looks that sort of goes right through you, makes you wonder if you're all right underneath. Oh, my goodness, I soon told him where to get off. And then do you know he turned out to be quite all right, like yourselves might be. I just said might be. And during the conversation, he started talking to me in a nice, homely way. And he said, I think every man ought to have his hobby. He's got his. He goes round shouting fire outside the nudist camps. Blimey, is the manager. A good band always attracts the crowd. And Oscar Rabin, whose broadcasts made countless friends, is here today to play for you. Hello, everyone. You've all heard the high spots from the Hammersmith Paladin dance. Well, here we are. Meet 15 years old Belle Davis. She's going to sing Nice People. Nice people with nice manners, but got no money at all. They've got such nice habits, they keep rubbers, but got no money at all. Their father keeps their mother, their mother keeps their brother, and when they're running short of cash, they borrow from each other. They're such nice people with nice manners, but got no money at all. Girls, you are lucky. The scattiest scat singer in captivity, that's Billy Nichols, is going to swing. Hold tight. <laughs> Full Cincinnati, don't get icky with one, two, three. Life is all so fine on the sunny side of the line. Riff, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Feel it exactly want to see food, your mama. Simples and rice, they're very nice, but don't you hold tight? Watch, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Feel it exactly want to see food, your mama. Simples and sauce. And then of course now I like oysters, lobsters too. I like the taste of butterfish. Now when I 